Countdown 24 is located on Route 24 in Lewis. Headlines. Headlines. You can't get through your day without. Oh, power 1017. All right, Jess, what you got today? All right, so the Internal Revenue Service, the IRS, has sent Microsoft a bill for $29 billion in back taxes, mm. plus penalties and interest. The company says that it will vigorously contest the audit results, which relate to tax years 2004 through 2013. People in eight western states will be able to see a rare phenomenon in the sky this Saturday. A partial solar eclipse will cause the moon to appear edged with a ring of fire. The effect occurs at the moment when the moon is the furthest from the Earth. The eclipse can be observed in parts of Oregon, California, Nevada, Utah, New Mexico, and Texas. In Albuquerque, New Mexico, an annual hot air balloon festival has been scheduled to coincide with this major event. In Salisbury, the city of Salisbury has made an announcement that a portion of South Division Street will be temporarily closed today. South Division Street between Avery Street and Onley Road will be impassable from 8 a.m. until 6.30 p.m. Uh, detours will be in place, and there is a map that has been trending online, and it's pictured on the new route. A Denton man has been arrested in connection to a child pornography investigation that began earlier this year. Mm. In January... The sheriff's office began investigating the possession of child sex abuse material through an internet platform that was taking place in the Denton area. Through their investigation, police identified the suspect as 25-year-old Austin Duda. He was arrested on Tuesday and has now been charged with 46 counts of possession of child pornography. He is currently being held at the Caroline County Detention Center without bond. And also, the city of Salisbury has announced the hiring of Salisbury Fire Chief John Toll as the new Deputy City Administrator. He has served with the Salisbury Fire Department for 30 years, including 19 as a senior manager in the department and the last five as the chief. He will retire from the fire department on Thursday, November the 30th, but he says that he is humbled by this opportunity to serve as the next deputy city administrator, and it was an honor to have received the support of the city administration and the city council. Nice. So he looks forward to this next step and new chapter. Very good. Uh, you did hear that Avello Airline takeoff is text in vacation. Let's go, guys. 302-858-5117. It's a Bill and Jessica show. Throwback Thursday. We got sports on the way. Here's Jay Cole. No role models. TBT. Good morning.